Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. The name Stephen Langton probably doesn't mean much to most of us. In fact, even if you're interested in church history like I am, the name Stephen Langton probably still doesn't mean very much to you. He, he was an Archbishop of Canterbury, but sure, there's been loads of them, haven't there? So why am I talking about him? Because actually, Stephen Langton's legacy has touched all of our lives in quite meaningful ways. You see, when he was Archbishop of Canterbury, the King of England at the time was King John. Yes, that King John. If you've, if you've watched the Robin Hood films or even the Disney cartoon, King John was the wicked king. He was the brother of Richard the Lionheart and he was the bad king in uh, the Robin Hood stories. And if you ever visit Carlingford in County Louth, the big castle that's there in Carlingford, of course, is King John's Castle. It has links going all the way back to this king in the 13th century. Anyway, Stephen Langton had many run-ins with King John. John didn't even want him to be the Archbishop of Canterbury. He had somebody else in mind who would be much more pliable and willing to do what the king wanted him to do. Well, eventually, Stephen Langton wrote a draft document that would limit the power of King John and would actually give a Bill of Rights to the subjects of the king. Now, today, this doesn't seem that unusual to us, but back then, this was absolutely unheard of because people believed in the divine right of kings. They thought that kings had been appointed by God and ruled on God's behalf, and therefore, you could not question the king in anything that he did. But Stephen Langton said, you know what, I do believe that kings are appointed by God and that God appoints rulers, but there are limits to their authority. And it's up for us as people of God to state where those limits are. And so he drafted up a document, this Bill of Rights, which King John didn't want to sign at all. But eventually he did. And it was called the Magna Carta. Now, the, the reason why the Magna Carta is so important is it was the inspiration and the basis for lots of other countries that today have a constitution, including the United States with the US Constitution. Without Stephen Langton and the Magna Carta, there would never have been a United States Constitution. There would never have been an Irish Constitution. And that's why I say his legacy touches all of our lives. The very idea that kings or presidents or prime ministers can't just pass whatever laws they feel like and do whatever they want when they feel like it, the reason why we know we, we believe that to be true is because of Stephen Langton, who set out the limits of the power of a king. Now, the Magna Carta was based on the biblical idea that human beings are made in the image of God. And that became the basis for the concept of human rights. And so other things like the abolition of slavery and uh, Martin Luther King and his fight against uh, racial uh, segregation in the United States. These can all be traced back to Stephen Langton, the whole idea of having a universal declaration of, of human rights and a, a court of human rights. These can all be traced back to this one guy, Stephen Langton, the Archbishop of Canterbury in the 13th century. And yet, as if that wasn't enough for one person to impact all of our lives, Stephen Langton has affected all our lives in another way. He was the guy who came up with the idea of dividing the Bible into chapters. Because before then, we had all the books of the Bible that we have, but they were just in scrolls and uh, they weren't divided up into verses and chapters. And so if you wanted to say something, you know, Matthew's gospel says this, you'd say it's about three quarters of the way through and the bit where he was talking to the Pharisees. But now, of course, we can instantly find the reference. But why? Because of the chapters and the verses. Now, Stephen Langton didn't come up with the verses. He came up with the idea of the chapters and he divided the Bible into the same chapters that we have the Bible divided into today. Um, now, the verses, well, it took another 350 years until people actually came up with dividing the chapters into verses. But thank God for Stephen Langton, who enabled us to be able to handle and explain and teach the word of God much better by dividing it into chapters. And so next time you look up a passage in the Bible, you can thank God for Stephen Langton, it's amazing that one man was instrumental in giving us constitutions, human rights, and the chapters in the Bible.
Stephen Langton is an example of how God can take has used Christians throughout history to shape our modern world. Without the influence of the church, without the influence of Christian leaders who have made a difference and have shaped the world that we live in, we can't even imagine what it would be like to be alive today. Now, yes, there are certain things in church history that are shameful. There are certain things where the church got it wrong. But you know what? Thank God for the church that gave us hospitals, that gave us schools, that gave us universities, that gave us modern science, and that gave us people like Stephen Langton. Thank God for the church. Join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.